Good lord, I've done some damage in my time. But the thing I regret most, on this channel at least, is making that corset. What a waste of time and resources. It was a stupid idea and a bad garment. It was also my most viewed video, which makes me hurt inside. Now I'm attempting to make up for it by pattern drafting and sewing a proper corset. And because I'm done reinventing the wheel, I'm going to be doing it using Nikki Blackwell's series on how to make a corset. Seriously, check out that series. It's so good. And it's amazing if you, like me, will go through <laughs> the horrendous ordeal of doing math in order to get a corset that fits to your body. The inspiration for this corset was modern bustier corsets and also the Emma Stone film Easy A, which I still love after all these years. In the following clips you'll see me lying to you because this is actually my second attempt at pattern drafting. The first attempt went so badly I sat on my bed staring into space for 20 minutes, but instead of crying into my wife's boobs about it, I decided to do a little doodle in my new sketchbook, which I love. I love this sketchbook and I got it for five dollars from Kmart. I put off getting a sketchbook for the longest time because I was like, it doesn't matter, I can just hold all this in my head. Girl, be serious. The pattern drafting process is really fun for me because I'm a nerd, I'm a square, yeah I admit it, I love drawing up a design on a flat surface and watching it come to life. Because Nikki's series is about making an underbust corset, to make an overbust corset I made the top line my full bust measurement and then freehanded the sweetheart neckline to cover my bust. It was pretty easy and I don't think I need to give a full tutorial on that, like you can figure it out, you're good, you're fine. I watched this amazing series by Minji Lee where she tries all these different corset patterns and sees how they fit to her body. Seriously, so helpful, it's in the description. The ASMR alone heals my trauma. Both Nikki Blackwell and Minji Lee have videos on how to take your measurements, so check those out if you need help. I also watched Lady Rebecca Fashion's videos where she tries on all her corsets and stays, but while we're both curvy, I have a completely different body type to her, so the problems she had with her corsets are probably not the same problems I might have with my corsets. But it really doesn't matter because I'm just happy to have more projects and clothes to make. So if I fuck these ones up, I can always make more. And I'm even happier that I don't have to resort to crochet to make them. As my wife likes to say, no way crochet, and I couldn't agree more. It's nice to be able to make my own corsets instead of having to drop like $200 on one that probably won't fit anyway. This one cost me about 30 bucks and it's another video for my channel, so win-win. So I've partially burned this just with zip ties which I am going to use in the final product because it's <laughs> all I have, I can't afford synthetic elbow. And then I struggled to put this on for 10 whole minutes. You think it's just going to be a simple project. This needs to be up a lot higher. Well, I mean, my bust is down here, so I'm technically covering everything. I don't know how to feel about this mock-up, but honestly I just wanted to make the proper thing and be done with it and figure out all the fixes I need to make for the next one. Me and my future self, looking back at this footage, tell me what's wrong. I made the final corset out of this beautiful duck fabric which I found out is not the greatest to make corsets with. I bought a meter of this fabric and it was almost enough to make two layers so I could sandwich the boning between those two layers and decide if I wanted a lining fabric later. This fabric was supposed to be for my shorts but I couldn't bring myself to wear shorts made of upholstery fabric. So I have this one last piece which is the back piece where the grommets go and I'm just trying to figure out how to cut it out of this like scrap of fabric because it's not really enough to go twice over here. It may be enough to go three times over here. I think I'm gonna have to cut out three of those of this piece and just get scrap fabric and use that. I really didn't want to use that. That's what's gonna have to happen. I think the only alteration I made to this pattern after drafting it was curving the underbust seams a bit more so that it's not as dramatic from my bust to my stomach. Can I just say for the record that my proportions are insane? Like, girl, my boobs do not need to be that big. My underbust does not need to be that small. It's a strain to get these bones in there because of how ridiculously curvy my body is. 
when I get a breast reduction, then you'll see. Then you'll all see. Actually, the other alteration I made to, was to make the seam allowances two millimeters bigger. So then instead of an awkward eight millimeter gap, which honestly I do not think is enough, I changed it to 10 millimeters or one centimeter. In imperial measurements, that is too small for me to care. I just realized that the whole point of flatlining these pieces was that it would be easier for me to put the boning in, but I have been sewing up the bottoms where I'm supposed to put the boning in. <laughs> God damn it. Oh, I'm so stupid. I was like, oh, this is going so well. I'm going to have it done by me in no time. But nope. Nope. I just had to go and cock it up. I've only got like two more pieces to do. So the way I fixed the boning issue was to seam rip a few stitches at the top of each piece and slide the boning in. It was infuriatingly simple. Then I stitched a line down the side of the piece of the boning and surprisingly sewed through the boning in places, dulling my needles. So funny story, when I was about five days into this project, I set a time limit and I was like, from now on I'll get all my videos done in a week. I have plenty of time, I don't do anything ever, so I should be able to finish a simple garment and a video in a week. And I was like, so pumped and yeah, and bro so cool because I thought I only had to sew the thing together. And then I remembered, um grommets and a bias strip and adding trim so then I started to panic and the plan to finish things in a week fell through when I remembered that putting time limits on my project is what burns me out. So because I put the bones right in the middle of the corset which was a stupid thing to do and also like look at this what <laughs> what why I had to zigzag stitch it closed but as you can see, there is a massive hole here. So I'll try and zigzag close, zigzag. Ugh, it's not gonna work. I think I might just actually hand stitch it. Yeah, I think I might just do that. I think I might just hand stitch it. That was not the end of my woes because hand stitching one thing led to me hand stitching the entire bias strips, top and bottom, and then fixing the pinked edges of the sides by hand as well. So I don't know why I didn't get it on camera, but I basically trimmed down this edge, which was like too long for some reason. I have no idea. And then I just cut off the edge of the boning that was in here and uh, filed it. And now I'm going to stick some bones in on these curvy parts. I have no idea how I'm going to do that. So I ended up just sewing another line down each panel about 15 millimeters away from the first line so I could encase the zip ties like in the fabric. Don't know how I couldn't figure that out the first time because it's not rocket surgery. I thought this fabric was really lovely when I bought it online but looking at it now it's so boring. Gull, water lilies, be less original. I love the selection of fabrics Spotlight has and it's literally a five minute drive from where I live but I don't know if I'll ever be able to find the right fabric that's like really me you know especially not right now when I have very limited oh I just figured it out it's not pink enough that's it I need it to be pink so these videos will continue to come out literally whenever and the only way to know when is to wait at your window for my carrier pigeon to arrive or subscribe and do the notification bell thing. I think that's easier. If you've made it this far, you might as well subscribe. Please subscribe, my family is dying. So I've been sewing the bias strip on and it's actually turned out really well. It's, in oh my God, it's incredible. I cannot believe how well this has turned out. Oh my God, I still have this, oh, I don't know why. Because I have a jagged pinked edge here, and I didn't even think about that when I was flatlining, what I'm doing is I'm pinning it down and sewing it there. So that's what's happening here. And what I'm going to do now is put the grommets in and then put another zip tie in there. Oh yeah, I totally did not do this. Oh my God, I like I'm running out of zip ties already so that it stays stable. But I have to do the grommets now because my wife is going to sleep soon. But yeah, I added grommets and a bias strip that was not cut on the bias to the top and bottom. And I was going to sew on some pearl trim, but I got super lazy. And while I was doing the last of that, I had to listen to the deranged rantings of meth heads in the hallway.
I would translate, but I don't speak Bogan. And also, why are grommets like the worst part of any project? I love having grommets in projects. I love having a lace up back, but installing them is so awful every time. I'm recording this for myself so that the next time I do hand sewing, I can just return to this video and see how I did it. But I think it might also be useful for you. The way I am hand sewing this is basically, I'm just taking a little bit of the bottom layer, pushing it through. Oh my God. I'm kind of going backwards a little bit, but it's not a back stitch. Anyway, here's the corset. I fucking hate this stupid house and I hate that I have nowhere to model my outfits because I don't want to bring my camera outside anymore. Also, I ripped it trying to get it on and I had to do last minute sewing. Overall, I'm really happy with it. I just wish I had more patience to bind the seams, but alas, I do not. If you like this video, please tell me in the comments. And if you didn't like this video, please tell me why so I can improve. I love you. You're the best. Let's touch boobs sometime. Bye.